Hello everyone, welcome to another video, it's Francesco here. And what we're going to do in this video is review an application called Bear. And for those who don't know, Bear is a note-taking application on iOS and Mac that is essentially a premium note-taking experience. Very similar to the likes of Matcha and iWriter on iOS, this application aims to be a really premium focus on taking notes on the go. So let's get started. As you can see, they give you some introductory notes to get started with. Uh, as you can imagine, these are designed to help you onboard uh, successfully with the app, explaining how visually all of these notes can look as you start learning all of the ins and outs of Bear. So Bear has a really simple sidebar that helps you organize all of your content. So you've got notes, trash, and hashtags. And once you go into creating a new note, uh, you can actually go into a lot of detail. So let's get stuck in with some of the editing features. So as you can see at the bottom, there's a host of options that does seem endless, but there are quite a lot of options from bold all the way to creating lines and quotes within your piece. So to get started, you can actually start with a header. Uh, you can change your header to header one, header two, header three, uh, quite ranging from quite big to quite small. Uh, this works quite nicely. Um, I also liked the fact that you can insert lines. Uh, I over inserted them here, but as you can imagine, you can insert as many as you like, which is quite cool. It helps break up the text too. The one thing that I'll demo here is what it looks like when I'm creating a meeting agenda, for example. So what I'd start with here is I'd start with bullet points. So you can start the bullet points from the options bar as well, which is quite good. Uh, the bullet points appear quite rich as well with the, the color uh, that you start off with in the themes, which I'll go into detail in a bit. You can also attach number bullets as well. So one, two, three, etc., and also check boxes. So if you did want to create a task list inside of Bear, then you can do. You can also enter code or a quote box as well, which is handy. It sort of separates out from the text in a sort of uh, courier text typeface, which is nice, uh, which does help separate it from the rest of the, the text formatting. The other thing you can do as well is obviously attach anything you like. Um, you can attach from iCloud, uh, Dropbox or Gmail, which is very good. And you also have movement buttons as well. So if you've got a really text intensive uh, note going on, you can actually use the buttons on the tab to actually navigate through. The one thing you can do as well is obviously strike through any text as well. Uh, that's again in the options bar as well. Uh, you can also add new headers as you go throughout. Uh, so that's simply just by hitting the H button and you can choose those optionality there. Now, there is obviously a camera. Uh, the camera is built into this option bar, so all you have to do is scroll across, hit camera, and you can add images in line, which is quite good. Uh, there's no editing, which is slightly weird, and I'm very used to reshaping stuff inside of Matcha. Uh, Matcha does have that and makes it sort of a bit more appealing, but uh, I was very impressed by this setup. If you want, you can change in the settings, whether it appears as a thumbnail or simply as a full bleed image on the page. There's other things as well, so you can actually share this uh, directly. You can copy the link to the note. Uh, but what I notice is when you share it via email, for example, um, the email actually just takes all of the text formatting. It doesn't send it in a link or anything like that, which is I think is great. So if you made this really long note or you made this really long agenda, you can simply send that straight away. But the odd thing is it doesn't actually add in images which is strange, but you can share the images directly to somewhere like Instagram or any of the options that you had on your phone's sharing features. So the other thing that's nice is obviously the hashtags that connect notes together. So if you put a hashtag throughout the piece, uh, the notebooks will connect up. So every time you create a new hashtag, it appears on the sidebar, which is very intuitive. If you can create two hashtags per note, uh, obviously, two will be created, but they'll link up as well, which is uh, quite cool. Uh, I've had a few comments on Twitter. Some people are sort of getting used to that. Some people uh, not too sure about it, um, but some people really like it as well. There's also a search feature as well. So if you just search, for example, hello, uh, this will search all of your content and go into, into the actual text uh, inside there and search for those keywords. 
So obviously it pulls up that very well. So on the sidebar, there is that trash option. But if you go to general settings, uh, you can actually get uh, some really deep settings that might be handy to you. You can actually edit the markdown abilities, the text expander as well. And also if you're into development, any of the debug logs uh, for sending them on. In the editing tools, what I really liked is the typeface editing. So you can actually change uh, some really detailed things like the, the font, which is, you know, for example, in Evernote, you can't do that. Uh, many of the other ones, I know that Matcha, you can do that. And iWriter, I think you can as well. You can also change the thumbnail settings as well. And there is a feature called theme, which allows you to basically change the theme. This is a pro feature. Uh, there are some really nice themes on here, so it's definitely worth checking out. Uh, I, I like the some I like the charcoal one. I like the slightly papy papyrus one, which uh, is very appealing. The other abilities are for importing and exporting, which I think should be highlighted. Import notes from Dropbox, G Drive, and iCloud as well. You can also export to that too, um, and there is an export setting, uh, which is a premium feature as well. Uh, so you do get. TXP, TXT and some of the other ones like DocX and PDF are all in the Pro feature, which is might be a pain, but you know that's a benefit of the Pro feature. Uh, you can also back up your notes as well uh, in the Sync feature, but that's also again a Pro feature. So why don't we pause now and have a look at what the Pro feature does offer? So you do get Sync, uh, which obviously allows you to sync across your you know Mac and also iPhone 2 or iPad, whatever you use bear on. You also get the ability to see your themes as well. So there are five, six other themes that you can unlock that make it more appealing. And then also the export features, which I think can be pretty handy. Um, imagine, you know, you're in a meeting and you want to create all these notes pretty fast, but you want to use a really uh, nice looking uh, Te like note editing tools. So this could be really handy both on Mac and uh, on your iPhone too. You can also cancel anytime. So the pro is that for month is 149 per month, which is reasonable. And the year is 1399 for the year. Uh, that's 15% off. So as you can imagine, more cost effective, you only get sort of a free month thrown in there, which is pretty good. Um, but yeah, I mean, one thing I really like about this app, it's, I mean, I tested this in beta. I was very lucky enough to test it in beta. Very impressed. I really like the overall experience. The gestures are lovely. The graphics are impressive. Um, there's a few Easter eggs. Uh, so when you see, uh, you can see graphics appear, which is quite nice. Um, I'm going to play around with this for the next few weeks. I'm also going to try out the Mac app too. But I think this has a real uh, competitiveness against the likes of Evernote and iWriter and even Matcher as well. But anyway, guys, that is my review of Bear. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, let me know of your opinion on Bear so far. I know a lot of you are downloading it because it's free at the moment. And that's one of the benefits. There is a freemium section of it. So do let me know what your thoughts are. And I'll definitely uh, be engaging you with you about those. Thank you very much, everyone. Make sure to have a great week. Keep productive, and I'll see you guys very soon. Cheers.